Hi folks, welcome to this episode of Vern's Misadventures. Well, I have updated my BIOS to get rid of the nag screen saying that the Spectre deal is not covered, blah blah blah. And so I did that so to deal with that vulnerability and the uh, patches that have come up and all that. So I updated my BIOS. The problem we have, so if we look here, we got one, two, three, four choices for boot options. Now, I like to set it up to where I can install and run Linux live disks and or installation disks, whatever. So, I, I keep by default my first option as being the DVD player. Now, then it says you have one for a UEFI OS, which is on P4, and this one here, which is on P2. So, this here on P2 I believe is <laughs> is actually my Mac OS backup drive and then this P0 I believe is my four terabyte storage drive which has no operating systems on it. See but there's no option for um, my Linux drive which has the grub which can start any of the Linux distros as well as Windows 10. Hard drive BBS? What is that? All right, so I got kind of curious what that BBS actually meant, and it means BIOS boot specification. The purpose of the BIOS boot spec is to standardize the boot process across PCI systems. The spec is designed to describe the method the BIOS will use to identify and prioritize IPL, the initial program load devices, in the system. So when BBS support is enabled in systems that support BBS, the SCSI RAID controller is presented as a bootable device in the system BIOS. When a RAID-based BBS support is enabled in system support BBS, the controller presents attached bootable devices up to the system BIOS for boot device selection. This is relevant for logical arrays. So anyway, I found this answer after a Google search, and it's from uh, adapttech.com. So there you go. So that's what BBS is. And I was completely oblivious to this until having encountered this in the new BIOS. So, back to the dilemma. And what if I choose this one? Oh! Okay, so boot option 1. So I want boot option 1 to be P5. And then boot option after that to be P P4. Now P5 is available to us. So we can add that. Did we just fix this? Hmm. Let's save and exit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We're back. So, I guess. <laughs> Now we know how to add an extra option that maybe doesn't show up originally to your boot options. How about that? So, let's see. Does it work and everything? That would be awesome if it really worked. Oh, it seems to work. Looks like it's loading up Leap. Alright, I guess we fixed it. <laughs> That's something else there. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Burns Misadventures. If you're not yet a subscriber, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. And if you're already one of my subscribers, I want to thank you for hanging around. So that brings us to a close of another Verne's Misadventure. Y'all take care.